Hello to the nation, happy Thursday to you all, I hope it's been a good one. But today we're going to be talking about a topic in specific, but I'll lay some background story for you. Okay, so today I was thinking, what is the worst possible way to die? Worst being, most painful, agonizingly bad way you could ever die. Obviously I went right to, oh, somebody just tro torturing you, cutting off like every piece of your body and dipping the wound in like vinegar or something and giving your body some uh, some sort of like uh, medication in order for you to not bleed out or something along those lines. Just something so horribly painful that you would never want to die like that. And after doing that I kind of got bored so I flipped the question around. What is the best way to die? And I don't mean the least painful. Obviously, that would be like being so heavily sedated. Obviously, that would be something like overdosing on like heroin or weed or something. Because that way you're going out so stoned. Because that way you're going out stoned. You're going out partying. Either that or wh while being with Kim Kardashian, Heidi Montague, and Barra Feely, your heart gives way and you die. That, that would also be a pretty damn good way to die. Best in my terminology is after you die, no matter how painful whatever you just went through was, that's only temporary. It's going to end. What's not going to end is how people are going to remember you, how your family and close friends are going to tell their friends about how they just went to a funeral and how that person died. How people are going to remember you and how people are going to think of you. So I started thinking about this and immediately I named out the probably worst ways to die. Diarrhea, influenza, nobody really wants their parents or wife or whatever sending out invitations to their funeral, people coming up and saying, how, how did it happen? He shit his pants too much. It's just not a very good thing. Other things such as anorexia and bulimia, those get taken off the table as well because people are just going to really think that you're just uh, a gross person, not a very good person. Well, maybe not anorexia, because that's more of a mental thing, but it's still not the best way to die. So those set aside, the next thing I thought about is probably the worst best way to die. This, of course, is allergies, because there's no way that you want your parents or wife or whatever to be asked how did it happen and have to look them dead in the eye and say, A bee sting. He ate a Twix bar. His nephew brought his pet mouse over, and he is allergic to pet fur. Like, across the board, I could not think of one allergy that is remotely good. Like, one way that you could die from an allergy and people are going to be like, Oh my gosh, he's so courageous. Then I went on to s diseases such as uh, AIDS and HIV, specifically STDs. Mainly because when people are notified that you died of AIDS or HIV, when that happens and your parents and or wife have to tell someone that, for the rest of that funeral, they're going to be thinking, how long is this funeral, man? Like, what are we gonna do when I get home? Play some cob? Not a very good thing to be happening at your funeral. And again, not a very good thing when people are asking about, oh, where, where were you Monday? And they're like, oh, I was at a funeral, my friend died, he had AIDS. Kinda gross, makes people think that you're just like an unhealthy person or that you like had too much sex. If you're a girl, automatically people seem to think you're a slut. So after thinking a little bit more, I ran over some other ways to die. Getting ran over, accidental hazards at work and whatnot. And again, those aren't probably very good ways to die because when people hear about them, they're just going to think, wow, he was an idiot and he just jaywalked or something. So then I thought about dis So then I went back to diseases and I thought of other things. Mad cow, rabies, stuff like that. Again, probably not the best thing because people think that you're a dirty person, unhealthy, stuff like that. But then I fell upon probably the best possible way to die ever. But first I'm going to go over some of the circumstances that apply to this way to die. Now, probably the most preferred age being like 90 when this happens. So you're like just about to die, you kind of want to die, and because you're going to die anyway, you want to go out in style. Cancer. Cancer is probably the best way to die ever. Mainly because when you're 90... Mainly because when you're 90 years old, if you do anything that people will remotely think that you're crazy, they will immediately go to your 
kids or whatever and tell them, hey, you should put him in a home. He's crazy. But the second you have cancer, you can do whatever the hell you want. I'll lay out a little example for you. If you're like a 90-year-old man and you're having fun at a kid's park, Chuck E. Cheese's Cosmic Adventures, people are automatically going to assume you're crazy, call the police, you're in a home for the rest of your life, which probably isn't that long. You have cancer, automatically you are such an honorable and courageous man, we will let you do whatever the fuck you want. Like, think about it. Is there anything that you wouldn't let a cancer patient do? They just want to live out their life to the fullest. They can go skydiving. You can't do that when you're 90. You have cancer, turns the tables around for you. You get to park in handicap spots. You get all these amenities and thoughts of you as if you're a fucking hero. When really you were going to die in a couple months anyway, Just it, it just happened that you got this disease. Which sounds fucking awesome. Anyway, guys, let's comment below tell me what you guys think. What is the worst way to die? Best way to die? Worst, best way to die? Best, worst way to die? Or leave a topic for next week. I'm interested in what you want to know. Thumbs up if you like this video. And... Click that little subscribe button up there if you want to see more. Anyway, Nation, see you next time, and... Peace!